My name is Ayusha Omar. I'm an education and careers consultant. I work in the learning and development industry. I design and execute training programs and also work as a training assessor. While this Business Byte video is about upskilling, COVID-19 has brought us at crossroads where upskilling is all the rage. Challenge is what, when, where, and how do we upskill? Well, we can answer these questions in a few simple steps. List down your strengths and weaknesses. As hackneyed as it may sound, trust me, it works. Your list of strengths show you that you have knowledge and experience. Be proud of it. Your weaknesses show you that you have room for improvement. And well, everybody on this earth always has room for improvement. Remember, no one's perfect. Well, that's right. If you wrote in your weaknesses column that you struggle with time management, then perhaps maybe you need training in time management. If you wrote that you struggle to keep up with the changing trends in your industry, then you need further qualification or maybe read more about your industry to keep up with the trends. If you wrote that you struggle with technology, then maybe you need a hands-on technology workshop. Or if you're looking for more advanced technical skills, then maybe you need to enroll in a programming language course or learn project management that is related to your business and industry. We spoke about the what of upskilling. Now comes when do we upskill? Well, this one's really simple. Whenever you feel the need to upskill, you may upskill. A few pointers could be, if you feel you're lacking in a certain area, or you need help from others for a certain job, then you must upskill. Let's talk about the where. Where do you upskill? If you're after accreditation, then you must upskill through an accredited organization. If it is just micro skilling that you need, then you may attend a couple of workshops or maybe just one workshop. If it's a knowledge base that you're after, then you must enroll in a course. Remember, the more time and money you invest in your upskilling or learning, the more you gain. It's just like any other business. The more you invest, the more you profit from it. The how. How do we upskill? Well, I hear most of you say that you haven't studied in a long time or that you find professional development workshops boring. Well, that's not uncommon at all. If you haven't studied in a long time, then maybe start taking small steps. Do a micro-skilling course. Test the waters, take one step at a time, and you will get there. Let's talk about professional development workshops. Most times, our professional development plans or learning goals are set out by others. If we follow the latest research in positive psychology of learning and development, we would understand that a person's professional development plans must be set by themselves. The most important part of any training is the ownership of learning and development by the incumbent themselves. The next step would be to find the right training and the trainer. Once you've identified the right training for yourself, check the experience and qualifications of the trainer. Ask yourself, are the trainer's qualifications and experience aligned with the training they're delivering? If you answered yes, then this workshop is for you. You will definitely walk out of this workshop with information and knowledge 
because you chose to learn from the subject matter expert. Upskilling and learning have always been synonymous with progress. COVID-19 has merely brought it to the forefront. So don't run away from it. If you do it right, it will definitely benefit you. And over time, you will develop a love for learning and your growth mindset will automatically kick in. Thank you.